Welcome or welcome back to the vlog, friends. If you're new, hi, I'm Nadia. I make motherhood, lifestyle, and faith videos here on YouTube, and I would love to be friends. I am a fairly new stay-at-home mom. I say fairly new because I lost my job back in August of 2023, and I have been a new stay-at-home mom since, and loving every single second of it. It has been the biggest blessing getting to be home with my children, one that I do not take for granted. It is Tuesday today and I'm gonna bring you all along for a few spring days in my life. I am so excited to welcome spring. It has just been feeling so much like spring here in Texas and so it is gonna be a fun couple of days. I have a couple fun things planned. I actually just started my sourdough this morning. I have been slacking on the sourdough, but we are back into it. We're gonna get back into it. And I actually want to paint my sourdough. I've seen so many beautiful examples of sourdough painting on Pinterest, and I just wanna try my hand at it. I think that'll be a really fun little spring activity and then just kind of have a couple of slow days this week my husband's car is actually in the shop and so we only have one car right now and he is in the office so the kids and i don't have transportation which is fine the car is getting worked on and we should have it back soon but it'll be a couple of good home days, couple cozy days. The kids and I are about to go for a little walk. We found a park within walking distance in one of the neighborhoods near us, and it is so fun. We have been loving going to it. And so I'm about to get the kids ready. We're gonna run to the park and have ourselves a little park morning, which I think is gonna be really, really fun and a great start to our Tuesday. walk and time at the park it was a little bit cloudy and a little bit gloomy and at one point it actually started sprinkling so we cut it kind of short and made our way home because I did not want to be caught in the rain and came home we had lunch and I just put the kids down for naps I hope that they go down they are so tired from walking and from going and playing at the park. So I'm hoping that they go down for a nap and I just got myself ready. I actually put on this little floral top that I got from the thrift store a couple days ago. My family gifted me with birthday money for my birthday. So I went out and did a little bit of a thrift haul, which was so fun and um, got this little top amongst other spring things. I'm about to start on some pizza dough though. We are gonna make pizzas for dinner today. And then I also want to set up a craft for the kids, a spring inspired craft, probably do some like little flower cutouts. And then I also want to set up a sensory bin type of situation for them. I used to make so many sensory and craft things for my daughter when she was um, younger, but since having both kids and since, you know, working full time and now being a stay at home mom, I really want to get back into the habit of doing sensory bins, doing crafts. I think the kids would really, really love it. So we're going to work on that. I don't have anything new to put into the sensory bins. I am just gonna source things from around the house and see what I can find, but it should be a good afternoon.
kids knocked out and I have my dough all done and kind of hang out here for a little bit. And my sourdough loaf is also doubling. I'm so excited to make bread tomorrow. This one's going to be so cute. I just cut out some grass for little bits of grass, some little stems, and then I cut out a bunch of different colors for petals. Okay, so for Ezra's, I just put some little flowers, some little cups, and a little spoon. So I think this will be really, really cute for him. This is our little spring setup, craft and sensory setup, which I'm so excited for. One thing that the Lord has been working on me recently is how I respond to the things that happen in my life. Just today, we found out that we have to pay $1,500 for our car's repair. After reading through the book of Numbers, I witnessed the stories of the old and the new generations of Israel, and the older generation responded poorly to their circumstances. They responded in disbelief and in constant complaint. They saw God perform miracle after miracle in their everyday life and yet they forgot his promises. We see a new generation emerge the second half of Numbers and Joshua is commissioned to battle for the land in Canaan. And I was actually talking with a friend about unlearning some of the things that we grew up with and for me when i find myself anxious or frustrated or overwhelmed i can speak negatively and be harsh in my words and funny enough the kids and i are memorizing psalm 19 14 that says let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight O oh Lord my rock and my Redeemer and the Lord has been so full of mercy in teaching me that as a new creation in Christ I need to raise up a new generation full of grace mercy and self-control it's so easy to let our circumstances consume us but we have to remember that the way we respond shapes our children if we respond in fear and doubt, it plants a seed of fear and doubt into our kids. If we respond with trusting God and knowing that God will provide and knowing that God walks with us, it plants hope and courage to face things with God when they do arise, because believe me, they will. If you're a mom, I want to encourage you to speak life over your home, speak life over your circumstances, and keep God at the center despite what's going on around you. The pizza was a smashing success. The kids loved it. My son just could not get over how delicious it was, and I actually really really enjoyed it as well i actually enjoyed it more than like the pizzas that we've bought from hgb that are already pre-made it was really really good so i'll link the recipe below it was super easy to make definitely did not require a ton of steps so i recommend that you make it definitely we'll keep that one 
around for any future pizzas that we want to make here. It is 6.15. My husband is actually at the park with the kids again. We have been loving this park and we just found it about a week ago and we've been enjoying taking the kids and going to it and we often see people from church at the park so it has been a favorite spot of ours and it is so close and i'm so happy that it's walking distance and also that it's just a really nice park in general in a little bit i have to start on my sourdough it is so heavy it's doubled in size and she's all ready to be shaped and put into some banneton bowls and popped into the fridge. And then tomorrow we're going to paint on it. I ordered some paints from Amazon that should be coming in today. So we'll have some edible paint and we'll kind of do some cute little spring designs. And I'm very excited for this little project. Also, here's the craft that Elena and I did. She didn't want to do just flowers. She wanted to do like a whole setting. So we I cut up all the shapes and she glued everything and I thought it was really, really good. But the star of the show were these little sensory bins. Both of the kids loved it. Elena wanted her own, so I made her hers too. And they played with this for a pretty good time. So... I think that I will pop these out from time to time when we want to do a sensory activity because they were definitely a hit. Good morning, happy Wednesday. The kids and I have had a slow morning today. We had breakfast, we've been playing, I had my coffee and read my Bible, and yeah, we've just been having a slow start to the morning. It's actually already 10 a.m. and we've just have had the most relaxing morning but I just got ready for the day and I'm about to start making my sourdough loaves. I just preheated the oven and my daughter and I are going to start painting the loaves. We're going to make them into pretty little flowers and I'm so excited for how they're going to look and how they're going to turn out. So I'm excited for a good day. These are the icing colors that I got from Amazon for the bread. They come in these little jars. And then I also picked up some food safe paint brushes. So we're gonna try our hand at this. laundry but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this week's video here thank you so much friends for joining me for the past couple of days as we've done some fun spring inspired activities here at home I hope you all have a lovely lovely rest of your week and I will see you all in the next one bye friends